guys, it's your girl Brianna Queen, if you're new to my channel, welcome! I focus on affordable decor, lifestyle, and easy beauty. So in this video, I'm sharing some of my tips to declutter your home because nobody wants to have a junky, dirty, messy home, right? At least not that I know of. <laughs> so my first tip when it comes to decluttering your home is one, do a walkthrough of your home with a trash bag. Place anything and everything that you don't need, that's broken, that you no longer use, that is not nice enough to donate or sell. Take all those things and throw them away. Because all that stuff is just taking up space and causing your home to look more cluttered. Number two, start off small and then work your way up. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if your home is just really messy, which girl, I have been there. Start off with one room, start off with one corner. I usually like to separate my cleaning into separate rooms. So I'll do my bedroom first, then I'll do my bathroom, then I'll do my office, then I'll do my living room, then I'll do my kitchen. So I actually like to separate up my cleaning into separate rooms. It makes it easier for me because then I don't feel so overwhelmed. Start off small, focus on one room or one corner. And then another tip you can do is do a before and after. If the room is super junky, take a before photo of it and then start cleaning up. When you start feeling like, oh, I'm never gonna get anywhere, look at that photo, reference it and say, okay, it's not as bad as it used to be. Let me continue to go. <laughs> Start with areas you can see first. So start with your bedroom. Then work your way into the closet. You know, start with your kitchen, then work your way into the patio or garage. But start with the spaces you can see first. If you start off with your closet and your bedroom still a mess, it's just not gonna feel like you're making any progress. So I always recommend starting off with the spaces you can see first and then working your way into the spaces that you can have. Get rid of duplicates. And you know what I'm talking about. When you have two pairs of jeans, they're almost the same shade. When you have two different nail polishes, they're the same color. Get rid of duplicates. But if you feel like your home is looking a little cluttered, I highly recommend going through and getting rid of anything that looks like it's a duplicate of the other. Have a ongoing donation box. Anytime you come across something that you don't like, doesn't fit, no longer care for, put it in your donation box. And when the box gets full, you can donate it to your local Goodwill. When you have an ongoing donation box and you donate to the Goodwill, you're doing great for the environment because you're giving your clothes a second chance at life. You're also helping your local community. Goodwill uses more than 87% of its collective income to create jobs, training, and educational opportunities to local communities. Yes, that's right, your local community. So when you donate clothes and items that you no longer need to the Goodwill, you're helping your local community. You guys know I love the Goodwill. I have a video all about how to thrift better. A lot of my home decor has come from the Goodwill. I personally love the Goodwill. I love to shop there and I love to do my part and donate. So I'm super happy to be able to partner with Goodwill for this video to share with you guys how you can declutter your home and give back to your community. Here's one of my tips, and it is make the home smell good. I like to light a candle, have some potpourri out. I find that when my home smells really good, I want my home to look really good as well. So if your home looks like a pigsty, but it smells like apple pie, it like messes with your senses. You're like, this doesn't seem right. It smells good and it looks crazy. So me personally, I will literally go through and clean up just so my home can look how it smells. Cause if it's smelling good, but it's looking bad, it just like messes with me. I don't know you guys. It just, so definitely think about maybe lighting a candle, have the home smelling really good. So that way you're more likely to clean up because you want your home to look as good as it smells. Another tip I have is make it easy for you to declutter and clean. I like to add lights to spaces so that I can see everything. I like to add lights to my closet. I like to use lights and little gadgets that help me organize my space better, such as a purse organizer that allows me to organize all of my purses 
hope you guys enjoyed some of my easy, simple tips to declutter your home. I personally feel like my home is my oasis. And if my home is junky and cluttered, then I kind of feel junky and cluttered and all over the place. I don't want that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below any of your tips when it comes to decluttering. Let's start like a how to declutter better thread down below. We can share tips, we can read tips, so we all can have a fabulous life and spend less time cleaning and more time enjoying life, right? If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and please be sure to subscribe to these videos as well for more Brianna. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Stay healthy, happy, beautiful, and blessed. Bye guys. He's not so sleep.